Welcome dear audience, students and scholars here. I am Dr. Amjad Ali, dear scholars. So far as we have theoretically developed the uh, SALO growth model uh, and its steady state equilibrium level. Uh, now we are approaching the steady state uh, uh, numerical example in this video. So uh, let's use a numerical example to see how the SALO model works and how the economy approaches uh, the steady state we uh, assume that production function uh, is y is equal to k power 1 over 2 and l power 1 over 2 so in classical model uh, uh, you will recognize this as the Cobb Douglas production function with capital uh, shear parameter uh, equal to uh, 1 over 2 so to derive the uh, per worker production function fk uh, divide both sides of the production function of this production function uh, by the labor force l and we get uh, y over l is equal to k power 1 over uh, 2 and l power 1 over 2 divided by l so we get uh, with some uh, uh, derivation we get k over l whole power 1 over 2 okay uh, <coughs> because uh, we have a per worker uh, capital and per worker uh, labor share so we have per worker output so per worker output uh, in lower cases y is equal to y over l and uh, uh, capital per worker uh, k is equal to k over l this equation uh, become as uh, y is equal to k power 1 over 2 so which can be written as uh, y is equal to under root k this form of the production function states that the output per worker equals the uh, square root of the amount of capital per worker so to complete uh, this example uh, uh, let's assume that 30 percent of output is saved uh, so we have s is equal to 0 0.3 that 10 percent of capital stock depreciate each year uh, or every year so we have delta is equal to 0 0.1 and the economy starts off uh, with the four units of uh, capital per worker k is equal to four so given these numbers now uh, examine what happened to this economy over time because by looking at the production and allocation of output in the first year when the economy has four units of uh, capital per worker here uh, these steps are as follow first according to the production function we have y is equal to uh, k square root or under root k and uh, the four uh, units of uh, capital per worker k produces two units of output per worker why because 30 percent of output is saved and invested and 70 percent is consumed so we have uh, i is equal to 0 0.6 and c uh, is equal to 1.4 because 10 percent of the capital stock depreciate so uh, we have depreciation rate uh, delta k is equal to 0.4 Okay, with the investment of uh, 0 0.6 and depreciation of 0 0.4, the change in capital stock is delta K A is equal to 0 0.2. Okay, uh, that's the economy uh, because it's second year with the uh, 4.2 uh, units of, of uh, capital per worker the same calculation for each subsequent year uh, uh, every year because investment exceeds the depreciation new capital is added and output uh, grows uh, uh, over many years the economy approaches a steady state with nine units of uh, capital per worker 
uh, in this steady state investment of uh, 0 0.9 exactly offsets the depreciation of 0 0.9 so the capital stock and output are no longer growing so following the progress of the economy for many years uh, is uh, one way to find the steady state the capital stock but there is another way to uh, require a few calculation so let's see uh, moving towards the uh, steady state uh, uh, situation we have uh, y is, uh, is equal to uh, square root or under root k and s saving is equal to 0 0.d and depreciation 0 0.1 and k is equal to 4 and we know that uh, uh, we have consumption c is equal to 1 minus s y and i is equal to s y so let's start our first year we have in first year uh, four unit of capital we have four uh, two output with the uh, 1.4 uh, 1.4 uh, consumption and we have investment 0 0.600 and we have the uh, depreciation 0 0.44 and we have uh, a change in uh, capital uh, 0 0.2 so see uh, if we have only this point so if we put the four value in this we get this and we have uh, 0 0.3 so uh, while uh, if we put 0 0.3 for getting this we put it this and we get i and for getting the c we put uh, uh, s and y value in this formula and we get c and uh, for getting this we have the depreciation formula mul uh, delta multiplied by k so you only multiply by uh, this k and the rate of depreciation so let's see our uh, second year in second year we have uh, 0 0.2 uh, initial capital level and with if we put on this then we get the uh, output for worker this and we have consumption by putting the saving and investment because we have a saving rate fixed 0 0.3 and depreciation 0 0.1 so we get uh, the second year consumption and investment and depreciation because we we know that uh, uh, delta is multiplied by k we get the depreciation rate and for getting the uh, rate of delta and we know that uh, uh, delta k is equal to uh, uh, i minus uh, delta depreciation so we have to subtract uh, i minus rate of depreciation investment minus depreciation so uh, by every year by by, by starting from uh, uh, this amount of capital for unit of capital we uh, in coming years we get nine unit of capital so see here we have uh, investment equal to depreciation and there is no change of uh, capital is more happening uh, so this uh, situation is called the steady state equilibrium situation so recall uh, change in uh, capital stock we have uh, delta k is equal to sf k minus uh, r uh, delta k so this equation shows how k evolves over time so see here we have see that how k evolves over time and changes the level of uh, uh, per worker output and changes the level of per worker consumption and changes the level of per worker uh, uh, investment and uh, changes uh, the per, uh, we can say the depreciation rate and changes the level of capital so no, because the steady state uh, is uh, defined the level uh, the value of k at which uh, k is equal to zero so when we reach on k is equal to zero we have a steady state situation if we put the value of k delta k is equal to zero we get uh, uh, zero osf k steric minus uh, delta k steric because at this point we are in a steady state 
situation or equivalently uh, you can write it uh, if you uh, put it equal to one another then you get uh, the uh, k static divided by f k static is equal to s delta okay this equation provides a way of finding the steady state level of uh, capital power worker k static substituting uh, in the numbers and production function uh, from the example to obtain we have k static uh, divided by under root uh, k we know that uh, uh, f k static uh, is equal to uh, uh, square root k static so uh, if we put the values we get uh, no take the square root of both sides of the equation so taking the square root of the both side we get k static is equal to 9 so the steady state capital stock is 9 per worker which uh, represent that uh, uh, we are in a steady state situation so uh, so see uh, with this uh, table that uh, by uh, raising the unit of capital at the end because we have no uh, uh, representation on the uh, year because it will take a very long time to reach on the infinity time to reach on the steady state uh, for the developing country because the developed countries has put a lot uh, time to reach on the steady state uh, so this process will show that uh, um, uh, on infinity time you will reach with this capital you will reach on the steady state so this is all about approaching the steady state uh, equilibrium uh, with numerical example so see you with another video ciao